Hey guys, Tape here. So it's been a while since I made any guidance video. So today we'll talk about a strong team that you can build in this current meta. And we'll also go into deep on how you can actually counter all this meta team. So let's go. So we'll start with the first one, which is Lin, Arena, and Lilith. Out of so many teams, I like this one the most because this team is very aggressive in terms of offense and it is also very balanced in terms of variety of elements. While in terms of party buff, this team has 100% melee attack which is very effective in countering most of the melee and rage meta team that includes Camel and Arena in the team. The reason why Lin is so good here is because she is very strong earth counter especially when there are so many Camel and mono earth team that are running around in the top 100s. Besides, Lin with 100% melee attack can also destroy Arena easily if she successfully checked on her. Meanwhile, for Lilith, she is still extremely strong against any Arena and Camel team in the current meta because of the armor break and side attack buff. While for the Arena, all I can say about her is that she is very broken just like Camel. She is more like the main core of any team right now, either be melee or range. So if you still haven't built her yet, then you should, because she is going to stay in meta for a long time. So overall, I would highly recommend you guys to build for this team because this is one of the best offensive team that can destroy most of the melee and range meta team. But then, this team can still be countered by one of the best melee comp which is FP, Arena and Lilith. So moving on to the second team, we have the current strongest melee team which is FP, Arena and Lilith. The only difference between first and second team would be FP and Lin. The reason why I say this is the current strongest melee team is because this team is extremely solid and stable and is probably the best when it comes to fight against the melee team. But then when it comes to fight against the current best range meta team which is Camel, Arena and Noxia, this team seems to be weaker and slightly less effective compared to the first team. It's because FP is slightly weak against both Camel and Arena and having two tank buffs in the team isn't going to bring down neither Camel nor Arena. So for the first and second team, both of them also have their pros and cons when it comes to fight against different meta teams. Moving on to the third team, we have FP, Lilith and Lin. This is also one of the best offensive teams that you can build because it has 100% melee attack party buff in the team and having two heroes which is Lilith and Lin are also able to counter both Kamen and Arena pretty effectively. Although this team does pretty decent damage, however it can still be countered by the second team is because second team is still by far the most solid melee team when it comes to melee versus melee. Next one, we have FP, Arena and Lin. I have also tested out this team before, but someone is not that amazing as I thought it would be because having both Arena and Lin in the same team can be countered by Lily pretty easily. And this team kinda lack of damage due to the body buff when it comes to fight against Kamen, Arena and Noxia. But overall, I would say it's still good and usable, it's just that it's not that amazing as other melee team. Moving on to our fifth team, we have Camel, Arena, Noxia. This is by far the strongest range meta team that you can build for your range team. This team can hit pretty hard and tank at the same time because of the double defensive party buff in the team. Back in the days, range team used to be very squishy to compete in top arena, but now with this team, it can be pretty effective in countering almost all melee and range meta team. This team is very strong against melee tank team that have 2-3 tank buff because if the enemies without sufficient right click damage, Kami can just simply stand there and life steal to win against the enemies. While Noxia won't feel any pressure if you have low right click damage because she is going to chain you down eventually. So overall, this is the current best range meta team that you can build for a range team but then it can still be countered by 100% melee attack team with a strong right click build. Moving on to the 6th team, we have Earth Mono team which is Camel, Ru and Mero. This team can be pretty big only if you have Messi stat and it can also destroy most of the melee and range meta team that doesn't run fire units in the team. But then, I don't recommend you guys to build for this team especially for the earlier mid game players because it will only work for the end game players with Messi stats. Moving on to the next one, we have Fire Mono team which is Cincilia, Vichyva and Playwise. Out of so many mono team, Fire is the most underrated and yet the strongest mono team because of the massive rise of earth units and there aren't that much of water counter in these days. But then just like any other mono team, stats is the utmost priority when it comes to building a mono team for the arena. And come to the last one, we have mono basic team which is Kana, Arena and Sohi. You might see that some of the top players are using this team in the top arena but trust me it won't work unless you have a bigger stat than the others because Lilith and Noxia can pretty much solo the entire basic team. So overall, basic mono team can be pretty strong but it's just that it's not the best among all the mono team. 
So that's all for today's video, and I hope you guys enjoy watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!